I'm going to show you how to backtest on FX Replay in five minutes or less. Let's dive in. So firstly, I'm going to click on new session here. Let's name our session. We're going to give ourselves a $100,000 account balance. We're going to add our assets and we can add two here or three or four or five, whatever we want. We are going to set the date and the end date. Right now we can start our session. So we created our session. We could scroll down FXR walkthrough, open it up. And here we go. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add news. So what I'm going to do is click news right here. We're going to click this filter and we're going to go just the United States and Europe. So now we have all the news here. I can click into here and just make sure that I just want to see the, the news that are coming up. So in the future and then only high impact, I don't really care about the medium and low impact. So I'm just going to turn those off. Now that we're done that we can close the news. And what I want to do is add an indicator. So I'm going to click indicators and I click FX replay. And then these are all our custom indicators that we have here. So I am going to select the round number by FX replay. Now I want to skip to my session that I trade. So I'm going to click go to select custom settings, and I'm just going to select the sessions that I like to trade. So for me, I'm just going to click New York. I'm going to set the time to 8 a.m. That's perfect. That's all I want to do. So click save, and then that's it. Now what I can do is go to New York session. It'll skip directly right there. If I want to skip forward candles, all I have to do is either click next. I can crank this up a little bit and click play, and it'll automatically play. Or I could use the keyboard shortcut, which is going to be control space, and I can just keep going like that. If I want to sync the time frame with my candle skipping, so you can see if I go to one, it's going to automatically adjust. You have to have this turned on. If you don't want that synced, you can just turn off the sync like that, and then it won't follow the time frame that you're on. So there we go. I'm going to sync it, and I'm going to wait for an opportunity. Price just hit off the key level that I'm interested in. Now I can look at taking a position, and we have two ways to enter a position. One is through the position tool. So I'm going to add a short position. I'm going to add my tool like so, stop loss up here, and target down here. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to make sure it's highlighted with these dots and I'm going to click place order. Now you can highlight over this and you'll see that we have different shortcuts here for you to use. So I'm going to click place order and you can see that this is going to be a market because I'm entering right at market. I can scroll down and I can add uh, auto break even, meaning that if it goes one R into profit, it'll automatically move my stop to break even. For partials, you can obviously set the different partial prices that you want to get hit and how much you want to take off at those times. And then finally, some tags. So let's just enter this position like this. We'll skip forward based off of using our keyboard shortcut. Now we want to manage our position. So I'm going to move my stop just above this high here. I'm going to click X. I'm going to take off 50% of my position. And then I'm going to let the rest go. If we now want to journal a trade, what we would have to do is just put on this position, click place order. And instead of going clicking save, we just click save in journal. You'll see this pop up come up. And from here, you can click a screenshot to add your screenshot. You can name it whatever you'd like to name it. We can add a checklist. A checklist is created prior in the dashboard. We can have the tags here of you know what conditions we're at or whatever you want. You can rate how confident you are in the trade and also what you would rate this setup in general. You can also add any notes that you want and you can change them to whatever style you would like. Then you will click save and you will have your journal and you can move this to the side or you can just kind of let it play out and see what happens. And so now if I go back into the journal, I'll click it right here. You'll see that it was actually updated with the balance that you won by. You can view it and you can check it out right here. All of your notes, all of the values here, all taken into account. So uh, we can review that later into the journal section, but that is how you actually journal your trades. Say, for example, I wanted to enter a position just quickly. I don't want to set up the whole position tool. That's fine. Well, what I'll do is just put in the lots down here that I want to enter in. I'll click sell in this case, considering we're up at that key level. I can click on this area called protect position and we can add our stop loss. So say, let's add that to five pips and let's even add this just to five pips. And then there we go. We can move it around. We can drag everything around like we need and that's it. So we can skip forward again and you'll be doing the exact same management here. Click X 50% off save, move this down to break even and just let it rock. So that's going to be exactly how you're going to be executing trades in FX replay. If you want, you can actually also go down into here, go into your open positions, go to position closed, and it'll just skip to when that position is going to be closed. So there you go. We closed it right at our take profit down at this level. Now that we have executed everything in here in FX replay, we can actually go into the analytics and assess our performance. We're here in the analytics page, and this is where you're going to be able to see all of the information from your data. Okay. You're going to be able to see exactly how many trades you've taken. 
the uh, profitability of your strategy, et cetera, et cetera. You can even look at, you know, all of it combined, or you can look at it on a daily basis. How are you performing? So there's a lot of stuff that you can look at. There's your average risk to rewards. You can look at your winners and losers and assess the performance on each side. You can look at the performance by session. You can look at the performance by time. You can look at the performance by day You can look at the performance by month. You can look at your performance calendar. You can look at your trade frequency, how many trades you're taking in a day or a week or a month. And then finally, the Monte Carlo simulation. So say, for example, with your current statistics, you want to say, hey, how is my equity curve going to look? And you can see that, look, if I just stick to my strategy, I'm going to be able to have a balance of 125,000. So grow it by 25% in uh, 100 trades, right? And so it's 100 trades times 10 different simulations here. So 1,000 trades, and you're going to get a lot of different information about your strategy just from right here. This is everything that you need to know to get started on FX Replay, how to use it, how to get started, how to backtest, and how to start extracting value from FX Replay. <music>